Oh, the flash is on. Okay, hello. Sorry, this is the way it's zoomed in. I don't know why that's. Okay, there we go. Um, hello, and welcome to this um, this video. I am Michael Ellis. I'm really sweaty for some reason. It's probably because uh, I don't know. It's decaf though, so I shouldn't be sweaty. Anyways, um, I don't know what's making me so sweaty. Um, this is Michael Ellis, and um, I am going to show you the which I'm gonna call it. It's the uh, I don't know. We're just messing around today. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing, uh, but we're gonna practice uh, some of the concepts of Flamel's work. Uh, we have the uh, magical solution prepared here, uh, based on Flamel's protocol. Um, actually, that's more of a lunar solution than a than a Saturn solution, um, but um, to do the straw ash, um, and the other magical, uh, the yeah, plant juice, um, whatever that means. So, um, we are all prepared to go along to our next step, which involves distillation. As, um, Flamel said, um, in an ambelic, or how do you pronounce it? Ambelic. Um, sealed tight and um, heated to a moist heat. Moist, 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 sorry. Uh, heated to a moist heat and, um, whatchamacallit, um, and it will provide the, as to quote Flamel, the um, feathers to warm you and the eggs to feed you the chicken or blood or whatever blood to keep you warmer I don't know something like that uh, I can't remember <laughs> very well today it's getting kind of light um yeah so like like the flamel concept basically so um hands made hand, can't even not hands made I'm thinking about the politics stuff um so the um I don't know, maybe it was hands made. I don't know, I don't remember exactly. Um, sorry, I'm rambling. Um, so, you know, to, for a weaver, spinner, spinstress, uh, to um, warm while she does her hand work. So, um, yeah, whatever. Um, so, as Flamel says, this is the process in which we extract our fine metals and we make silver to make gold or whatever whatever happens who knows what happens sorry I'm, I've been wasting your time you're ready to to hit the experiments and see what happens so to explain our setup we have the solution the mercury right here um, we have a distillation arm that's just what I use to distill um, when I'm not doing reflux experiments we have uh which came with a vacuum fl um a filter thing which happens to be really handy for the setup it just kind of fits in perfectly um this like for our receiver okay this is a flat bottom flask uh this is a uh receiver thing and it's just sitting in some dirt that i had which i use for other experiments and um kind of works good to hold it in place at the right level. I don't know why it's just magically at the right level for that, but it is. And um, so that's our receiver and to relieve the pressure that builds up, we have a hose coming off, which would normally function as the uh, vacuum pump for the filter, but actually works to relieve the pressure of our receiver. And then we have a little, uh, little uh, um, jar with rocks in it to cool down what else is coming out and to capture the secondary um, um, vapors and whatnot, just the stuff that uh, releases out of the receiving flask that doesn't get caught in the first run. So, um, so yeah, so that's our setup and all we need to do is apply heat and we are good to go. 
So we shall turn on our little infrared fancy dancy, uh, which we call it, uh, hot plate. So you can also use a stove for this, um, but hot plates are more convenient for lab work because they can go anywhere to your lab in the basement, out of the way of the kitchen. Plus, my mom's always making candles upstairs, so uh, so that's got candle stuff all over it. Um, so this is my little lab in the basement where I do my experiments, hoping one day to crack the code of the alchemists and make a fortune or trying to make a diamond for, I don't know, if I ever marry someone. Um, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So that's our setup. And, um, 555 green. We are go. And, um, 555 minutes and 55 seconds into the video. Uh, at that mark. That is in nanometers, the color green. And, um, the timer I see in electronics. Just a little worthless fact. I did study electronics in school too, so, um, so yeah, I got a lot of education, and it was worthless, no, just joking, yeah, but if you get an EMP, that electronics education is going to pay off, <laughs> fixing stuff, I can't fix stuff, why am I saying that? Yeah, I can't fix stuff. Electronic stuff. I tried and I'm horrible at it. That's why I do this. So, um... So, yeah. So, we're boiling the concoction. Ultimately known as the mercury. Which is the sulfur salt and mercury. Um... Philosophically speaking, not literal mercury. Um, as Flamel says, it's the plant juice, Seventh Hill, and the, what was it? I don't know. The, the, whatever I said at the beginning. Just refer back to that. So, um, so, so you can see what's happening. It's looking a little, um... So if we were lucky enough to have seen the first four videos of Herbal Alchemy, this is the resulting solution. If you're not in the in crowd, or uh, the, the secret club, you're just going to have to take it from here. So... Um, so it's, so the solution is a mystery for all you outsiders, but, um, you can guess what it is. We're just distilling it. And here we go. We got a boil. We're gonna get some vapor. Pretty soon we'll get some collection. I'm gonna pause until we get there. 